digital transformation on a global scale is, is pretty impressive. One of the fascinating things that I saw coming out of this conference, uh, again, is just the belief in the cloud and in 5G. As we're looking towards the future, I think the easiest low-hanging fruit is capacity and speed. And with the implementation of a 5G cloud, perfect speed is being there, and we can all be there in real time. I mean, if we're looking at a world where uh, 5G will be the norm, and if I'm in a 5G world, then that frees up 2G, 3G, and even 4G for things like boring things like IoT, right? It's boring when it's transferring on the network, but it's not so boring in real life. If I get on a subway and my internet connected device on my wrist that's monitoring my heart rate knows a, notices a spike in my heart rate and then a drop and then a spike, it says, holy cow, this guy's having a heart attack. And if it says that and then it communicates that to the subway I'm on and the subway then automatically bypasses three stations to get me to a hospital, I'd say that's pretty, pretty interesting. You look at things like Waze, which automatically says, hey, you're on a road that you normally take and there's a surprisingly amount of traffic, so I'm gonna reroute you. You don't even know about it, okay? If we're looking at autonomous cars and we're looking at the future of technology really being the connected everything, that's where we're going. As we see developing technology start to grow in developing countries like Tibet, in uh, Myanmar, things like that, where you know someone would get sick on the rice paddies and they're looking at a four-day drive or a four-day walk to get to a clinic with a 3G or 4G phone. That can now be, they can be looked at in real time, they can be diagnosed in real time, and they might be able to save four days of having to go to a clinic and four days back. So that's where the technology for me is exciting because with however many billions of people we have on this earth, if we can start saving lives on a pretty global scale using nothing more than implemented technology that in developed countries was 10 years old already, that's a tremendous benefit. So that's what I'm starting to see. Um, the ability to sort of connect the last of the unconnected uh, is very, very beneficial. I see Huawei leading the way with that.